Greetings everyone, I'm Dr. Anth. Vigorous discussions occur among paleoanthropologists who consider fossils from a lumper perspective and those who do from a splitter perspective. Before I explain what is going on with lumpers and splitters, first I need to explain how evolution or adaptation works. Evolution is change over time. Adaptation is change that allows individuals to better fit their environment so that their offspring will survive to reproduce. In order for evolution and adaptation to occur, species must be composed of diverse populations of individuals. If all individuals in a species are very similar, then if there is a change in the environment to which those individuals cannot adapt, the individuals in the species will all die and the species will become extinct. Evolution and adaptation require species to have lots of diversity. This is called population thinking. However, there are some paleoanthropologists who do not look at the past and fossils as if they were part of once living populations. Instead, they view diversity in fossil material as a signal that the fossil material is composed of more than one species. This is called essentialist thinking. That is, whenever these paleoanthropologists find differences, they declare that they will split the fossils into separate species. On the other hand, paleoanthropologists who use population thinking expect there to be some differences, but they focus on commonalities in the fossil material. If the commonalities outweigh the differences, and if the variation in the traits in the fossil collection does not exceed that found in modern species, then these paleoanthropologists will lump all the fossil material into one species. Splitters are essentialist thinkers who focus on differences. Lumpers are population thinkers who focus on commonalities. Splitters look at the past and see many different species rather than many populations of one species. The splitter perspective is not evolutionary as it ignores adaptation. Splitters see many species of human ancestors with somehow just our own species surviving. Lumpers look at the past and see one species with diverse individuals living in a variety of populations that can adapt to changes in the environment due to that diversity. Over about two million years, that one species, due to its diversity, has been able to evolve and adapt to differing environments. We now call that species Homo sapiens. A, but we are not really a different species from our ancient ancestors. I am a lumper. My master's thesis was on this topic. I'll put a link to it in the box below. In future videos, I will discuss lumpers and splitters in relation to Neanderthals. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.